All right, on first inspection, see some changes have been made here. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, and now we're gonna talk about the biggest change. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, man. Well, 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 hold on, bro. What's that you holding in your hand, man? What? That's what is... the director. What? what? So that's a step up. These speakers are a step up. Heavier magnet, heavier build, heavier motor structure, heavier everything. Yes, sir. And some new CDTs, okay? And these are still the same from the last time, right? Nope, those are changed too. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. you holding out on me. I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, my man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ready to be blown away. Oh my goodness. Hey, go ahead and get right to it, bro. Ain't no need to delay. I am ready. No delay whatsoever. Uh, I promised your, your fans the last time that I was gonna play some Anita. Oh, bro, don't do it to me, man. Here we go. Here we so, go. I'm gonna hit them with the Anita this time because I'm on the right playlist this time. Oh, man. Bro, I am ready. I am absolutely ready. instant request you know I tune off of memory I tune okay. a lot off of memory on your car okay remember my Anita Baker song that I used to tune with is baby can you please bless me for my memory for my reference for what I know with that song please sir that is my go-to song as a reference point so let it be written so let it be done oh man It's often said you don't care for oh, me man. no more. You took so long, how could you leave me on? Left me one a real conversation real quick sure, the man. last time we did the video I loved it I thought it was nice and crisp and the people on my channel my family here they thought it was nice and crisp too but they thought it was a little bright just barely little bright I thought so too I thought so too but I still liked it because it was different than mine my car is a little bit of a warmer sound right your car has a warm sound now man I mean it's still different than mine 
and I still love it like always. And your your stage is still wide as hell, and it's it's centered just right without being like look over here it's centered you know it's centered like across the dash like it i mean and i and i don't want people to think i'm hyping you up because we boys man but it's perfect it's like perfect because you don't want to turn your head a certain way you just hear it where it's supposed to be if that makes any sense to you yeah you it know? makes perfect sense dude to me. so of course you got the helix director in hand Right. Uh, man, I, and I'm going to be completely honest with you like I always do. I didn't expect that big a difference from the Helix from the Arc to the Helix because they're both top tier, top name brand, top brand, top quality DSPs. Dude, I I am not a, I'm not ashamed to admit I was wrong, man. Damn this thing sounds good. <laughs> Bruh, please tell 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 everybody what what's the you got new speakers too. Come on, man. What are you doing, bro? What are man. you doing, man? God, dog. And man, you still have said, If you're gonna go in, go go all the way. Don't half-ass with it. That is 100% true. That's why I spent everything I had on my system. You know, I just spent money like like I had it like that. But hey, you got to do it at least once, right? Yeah, that's why when my woofers show up, I'm tearing everything out and starting from scratch. Right. Yeah, because I was just about to say you're not even finished yet, and that's the cold part. Speaking of which, my woofers will be here on Monday. Yeah, and for y'all who wondering, who are wondering, he's talking about he's gonna do infinite baffle. I've heard in my lifetime of doing this, I've heard maybe three or four cars with infinite baffle, and the sound stage is I can't even describe how perfect it is. It's it's so non-directional and it's so immersive that you your your jaw just drops. Like you're just astonished. Like I can't believe it sounds as good. It's, it's one of those things, you know what I mean? And of course, I can't do it because I got a, a SUV, but, and I like my sound. You know, we got different builds. I'm, I'm doing SQL. Mine Never is, say you can't do it. it in in an SUV. SUV? Yes. How so? Uh, when you come to the show tomorrow, you will see one of the guys that has an SUV. With an infinite baffle. Well, not with an infinite baffle, but it can be done. I've really? seen it done, yes. But it's a true infinite baffle where they'll use one of the side panels and then they'll cut out the floor wow. right there and make a true infinite baffle. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, yeah, in case y'all wondering, I know y'all see my videos. I film from here a lot. Yeah, that's the Vegas Strip down there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Well, somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, my boy's here in Vegas. Of course, by the time I release this video, it's not going to be this day of the show. But the show date is April 30th. And you, you were serious about coming down here to win. You weren't playing. Like you were focused on rebuilding and getting ready to come here and destroy everything in Vegas, coming to burn the town down. Well, I won't <laughs> go that far because it, it, it's Dude. some guys out there that that have done a lot of improvements on theirs too. And uh... but yeah, before we end this video, we're just gonna make a quick one. Before we end it, when you get a second, bless us with another one, please. Uh, I'm gonna bless you with a song that those of you that were naughty when you were a kid if you know this thing if you know this song yeah you was a very naughty kid back in the day here we go here we go <laughs>
that won't work. Because the face is I just want you to hear this acoustical sound. Okay. I've got some people on my channel that appreciate drums and instruments like this. for you. So you said you upgraded your uh, four inch and tweeters and your eight inch drivers. What made you decide to do that? Were the eights that you had before that you just purchased, were they not giving you enough? Were they not capable of giving you the the mid bass or the bass range that you, that frequency spectrum that you were looking for? Well, I mean, it was cool, but I wanted more. Because so, these have a heavier magnet, heavier motor and all that than the previous model, right? Yes. And what about the uh, four inch and tweeter? The four inch is still the same four inch. I okay. just changed the tweeter. Okay. So you the, went with a higher end, a higher model? I went with a different version of the same tweeter that I had. This one's supposed to give me higher frequencies. Okay. Alright, alright. It, it worked out well. It worked out very okay. well. One more song here. Alright. Here. Here we go. I know that song. I'm gonna point the camera where I hear the sound. And the drums fill the whole cabin. Non directional. Here. 
here. No, I hear her no, over there. No. But the engine, the drivers in the front, they're all over. In my car, I have two presets. I have a driver's preset where the center channel is here, and I have a passenger preset where it basically just switches it so that if somebody's riding in my car, they get to get the benefit of the center. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're sitting over here in the passenger right. seat. Do, does it sound like that to you? Is no. it cool? Really? No, it, it doesn't. It sounds like it's all over the place over here. Really? Because it's tuned for the driver's seat. Right. Now, eventually, but, I'm going to do a two-seat tune where I'm going to add a center tunnel to this car. Right, but by you sitting in the uh, passenger seat right now, it's not pulling to the passenger side for you? I mean, it's... It's all over, still. I mean, but it's, like, not centered. Right, it's, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, mine, uh, if I switch it for the passenger, I get to hear my mids and tweeters really strong on my side, right. just as they would. But um, be, the way your speakers are positioned and as wide as your stage was I was wondering if it has that same effect so it's not centered for you like it is for me no okay cool I just wanted to be certain so you're going to a, a center I mean you're gonna do a two a true two seat tune yep and I talked to Casey yeah somebody's got a drone huh. I, I remember talking to Casey from Morel and uh -huh. he said he's gonna do a two seat tune as well and then I talked to a couple of other cats that are familiar in the game and they said a two seat tune is not easy it's not, no, it's not. It's not simply adding a center channel and then making everything flat on the sides, because you still have to time align your your, your mid bass drivers, time align your mids and highs, and everything still to work in conjunction with the center channel that you're going to put there. And the center channel that you're going to put there is not simply just going to be a flat driver. You have to put like a component set up there, basically. Basically, yes. Wow. So. And CDT has what I'm looking for. So you're gonna do a two seat tune? Wow! I know. So if you get a if you do a two seat tune, that's gonna put you in a completely different category when you compete then. Cause well, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to compete compete with a completely different class of cars if everybody has the standard one seat tune, and then you go to a two. Wow, man, two seat tune. I kind of wanted to do that, but then I saw the work involved, and I'm like, eh, I don't mind switching it occasionally for the passenger to have the center imaging while I ride. You know, it doesn't bother me that much. Not I got one more song yeah, I want to yeah, play yeah. for you. Let's do it.
go ahead and close out this video real quick. Thank you, bro. Thank you for uh, blessing us with the updates. And there's still more to come. That's the crazy part about it. There's still more to come. But even with these changes, it's night and day from the last time I heard your car, which I thought was dope. And I honestly didn't think it could get any better. And here we are. And I'm blown away. And I promise you, I'm not hyping you up because we're boys, man. I told you, my, my favorite cars are Yachtdale's car and your car, still to this day. Regardless of all the other cars, even like higher ranking champions than you guys, I didn't necessarily find them that appealing to my ear. Whereas when I heard Yachtdale's car, man, I, I mean, I literally busted out laughing because I was blown away at how his car sounds. Same way I bust out laughing when I'm in your car. It's like, like after all these years, I'm still blown away and impressed with these sounds. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, but I'm, I'm pretty much gonna go out on a limb and assume that you're gonna do real good, you know? Gonna, can't put no bad juju in the air, only good, you know? So, you yeah, so hopefully all these upgrades prove to be worth it. And even if not, just for yourself, this is just for yourself, it's worth it because man, it sounds amazing. And I, I really didn't think it could get any better. And here we are. So, <laughs> anyway, let me close out this video real yeah. quick. We out in this blazing hot sun, running this car, AC, and all that stuff. We got to save it for tomorrow. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, stay tuned.